This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Hi, Ms. Garcia, that you? Yeah. How are you doing? Good. I don't have any shots outside of your natural habitat there. Only inside the state house where the light is awful. Mr. Foster, last time I had questions for you, you wouldn't answer any of them. Is that appropriate for an official who supposedly serves the public? Representative, I have a question for you. Okay. What would have to, this is going to sound a little bit wingnut, but uh, what would have to happen? How bad would it have to get before you supported New Hampshire independence from the union? Pretty bad. I think we do things pretty nicely in New Hampshire the way they are. So. Should we have to be a part of a, an empire and or country that tortures people? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But it would have, things would have to, hopefully not in my lifetime. We currently are part of an empire that tortures people. I can't say we're all in that, but yeah. All right. Thank you. Peter. Thanks for yours. What's your name? Uh, I'm McCarthy. Okay, Ms. McCarthy. Thanks. Are you a, one of the House of Representatives members? Yeah. I have a question for you. This is going to sound a little bit uh, out there, but what would it take? What would exactly would the federal government have to do to make you support independence for New Hampshire? As in secession? Nah. I'm not going there. Thanks. All right. Take care. Representative, correct? Okay, in the House of Representatives. I have a question for you. This is going to sound a little bit wingnut, and it is a little bit wingnut, but uh, how bad would the federal government have to get? What exactly would they have to do before you would support independence for New Hampshire? Independence from? Independence from the Union. The Union? What would it take? I don't know. Don't have a question to answer for that. If they started torturing people, would that be enough? Yeah, I think uh, they're already torturing enough people, mostly family and kids. They do that constantly. I mean, New Hampshire takes more kids than ISIS. All right, thanks. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. <laughs> That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to... LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.